Okay, so for basic uh, material uh, edit, edits, you need to get the actual US set and UX uh, from the files. If you're, if you're using UAViewer, you need to just go to where the material is. In my case, I'm going to edit the sword from Perahovino. So it's material, sword, and right click and save and save it. That is going to, instead of exporting it, which won't do anything with it, it's going to save the US set and the UX. I already have all of the materials here, so I don't need to go look for it. But if in this case, it will be in your, you, in the UE viewer folder, you'll see an you model saved instead of you model export. And you'll find the files there. Just follow the path. They say the path is going to be the same as the actual uh, game structure. So it's going to be your model saved, game, character, player, and all of that. So you need to use this program called Asset Editor, uh, which basically lets you edit any US set and UX combo. Sometimes it doesn't work, in which case you need to use uh, uh, an, an alternative program that, that it's also going to be in the description, but uh, this should work fine for materials, so you don't need to worry about that. So, to actually edit the colors, this is mostly for basic stuff like the glow on the Hovino and the sword, as I said. So, basically these are the values. The, this is RGBA. So you need to get uh, uh, basically anywhere that you can color pick and get RGB values. You don't need Unreal Engine 4 for this. However, I like to use Unreal Engine 4 because I like this color picker basically. And that's really all, all I'm doing. If you want to check what the actual color is, you can basically recreate the, no, the numbers on the color picker. So 0, 0, 20, 0. Obviously, this is just the the blue that the sword uses. So let's say I wanted to I want to make it pink for my pink and have a mode. I'm just going to pick a basically a pink color. Doesn't I'm going to change this to one actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, around here I guess. So now just uh, copy the values and paste them here. Except for the alpha. Leave the alpha as it was. I just edited it because I I don't know, I'm kind of dumb. <laughs> so just do this. And that's it, now press save. So file save. Be sure to actually make a backup because as an editor won't make a backup of the files. So if you do something wrong or it breaks or anything, you're going to need to save it again. So I'm going to interrupt this real quick because I forgot to mention something. And that is that if you make the edits with a comma instead of uh, a dot, it's not going to save properly. So instead of just copy pasting like this, make sure you change the comma to a, a dot, otherwise the program is not going to save it, anything you do, because it works with a dot, not a comma. That's it, that's all I really need to clarify. But now you just need to repack the mod and test it on the game. So, as you can see, it's working. It looks a bit rough, but it's working. That's what matters, really. And that's it.